My brothers and sisters in Christ, today the church celebrates the memorial of St. Charbel Maclouf, a wonderful day to remember uh, that, that the church is so much bigger than the Latin rite that most of us, especially in the United States, think of as the Catholic Church. And yet, we're united not only as, as Roman Catholics, but with all the, the Eastern Catholic churches that make up the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Um, included amongst this number are our Maronite brothers and sisters. Uh, and so the Maronites out of Lebanon, of which they have a, a, a strong presence here in Houston. I, I've, I've been overjoyed to, uh, to, to visit uh, the, the Maronite Church, Our Lady of the Cedars, here in Houston on many occasions, have a good working relationship with them. But the, this is one of the, the great saints for, for Maronite Catholics. And it's wonderful that his saint day is inscribed on our church uh, in the Roman Rite as a reminder for us that it's not just uh, those uh, according to, to the Roman Rite that uh, ha have been great saints, but others in the East as well. Uh, often the, the church has been talked about, the two lungs, the West and the East of the church. And so St. Charbel is interesting because he, he lived a monastic life. In a sense, his life was, was more of the uh, I don't want to say that the pure contemplative, he went out and celebrated the sacrament sometimes, but as a priest, he rarely left the monastery. And so we could just end the story at that and say he was a very holy man, he rarely left the monastery. And yet, so often with the saints, why certain things happen, why miraculous things happen, are known only in the mystery of God's providence. But St. Charbel uh, was, was known for his great holiness, and after he died, he was buried, but mysterious things kept happening with the body. And every time the body was exhumed, he was found to be an incorruptible. That title that's given to, to those saints whose bodies never decay. In fact, scientists kept exhuming, and this isn't in ancient times. This is a, church, this is a saint uh, that, whose body was last exhumed, uh, I believe, uh, in the 1960s when he was finally canonized. Uh, so throughout the 20th century, many times medically examined, and each time found to be making odd secretions from the pores, and yet the body was never decaying. The, the clothes that he would be wrapped in would decay, but the body remained completely intact. Even set outside in the natural elements and uh, in the summer, and it didn't decompose. And so, like many of the incorruptible saints, this is an amazing thing. It caused a lot of people to make pilgrimage. And um, on top of that, uh, his pilgrimage site, people who, pilgrims who came to pray by the body began to experience great miracles, a num great number of healings that were attributed to St. Charbel. And so, he's a great saint uh, in not only the, the East, but now on our calendar in the West. He was a holy priest, a holy monk, and yet only known to the Lord is the mystery uh, of why this, this body was preserved. It has now finally returned to, to uh, the natural state. Uh, his body is no longer preserved, but for, for well over a hundred years, uh, this body remained incorrupt as a place of, of pilgrimage. And the site is still one of pilgrimage, even though the body has finally decayed. Uh, but the, the miracles have continued and continue to be recorded. A reminder for us, not only of holy men and women, but that the things that can be done only through God's power and only in the mind of God. These stories leave us intriguing, these things that confound us, a confounded scientist, why his body was not decaying. And we can say, only in the mind of God do we know why. And yet, we can appreciate and wonder a holy life and be reminded that not everything is in our grasp, our power, our knowledge. Even human beings today, with all of our our science, and we pat ourselves on our back with our great wisdom uh, that, that God uh, is truly sovereign. And so, today through the intercession of St. Charbel, may we praise God and we, may we place our faith in Him who is truly master of all creation. St. Charbel, pray for us.